stun. Yes, you can stun him. I don't care how big he is. You can still stun him. No. Whoa. Need to use a potion there. Don't like having to use it, but what are you going to do? Down he goes, finally. Guy is huge. Purple ones are the uh, the rare ones. They don't always show up, but when they do, they can be pretty tough. But, eh. We've gotten, we've gotten a few of them, I'll be honest. We've been pretty lucky. Pretty lucky this run. Uh, I don't know where to go. Just pop those things so I don't do them accidentally. That's my, that's my typical habit. And we've got more orders. Overwhelm the enemy and seize his companions. There is a witch among them and another a girl. Bring them to me along with the Black Soul Stone. They may be searching for the head of Zotul Kuhn. Scour the oasis for it. Some old sorcery lingers on the skull, and it must be mine. Huh. So Belial's pretty much after the same things that we are, including Leah, which he didn't really talk about. Just there's something about her, more or less. But he didn't say what. Uh, of course, he wants the witch. Witches are probably important for a lot of different things. And now we have, like, cursed pilgrims? What the hell's going on here? Just, like, an infinite spawn of very weak-ass enemies. Slake your thirst on the ah. heretic's blood, my children. Scream deep and be blessed. No, get back here. And we got another purple guy. Like I said, we're getting pretty lucky here with that. Are you sure you want to hit me? That's probably not the smartest thing to do. Fallinger! The duel will drink no more. Thank the Seraphim for that. Promises of Fazul Al Kazar? What? Huh? Grab it! Grab it! Oh, what? It's a lore! Fazul Al Kazar promised that he would lead his followers from sinful Chaldeum to a lily strewn paradise at the heart of the desert and that the journey would transform them beyond all recognition. Hmm. Judging by the condition of the gnawed corpses found weeks later, Fezul kept at least one of his promises. Nord? Whatever, he sounded sound like he said Nord. I think that's the first time I've ever found that guy. Not that tough. But interesting, so we had a cult leader that was going to save everybody, and then they died. Tends to happen in, the, in cults. What else do we have around here? Just a whole bunch of... Well, it's an oasis. So, I mean, there's a whole bunch of water all over the place. You would think that they could move this over to some place where it was more needed, but... You know, I'm not in charge of city planning. It's like an architect, but a whole city. Keepsake box! Tell me about the oasis! Three centuries ago, a much smaller Chaldeum depended upon small wells for its water. Then came the mysterious Dalgur offering Chaldeum an oasis of unparalleled splendor, located in an area previously thought to be desert, asking only that his name be permanently affixed to the land. Then he vanished into the wastes. Weird. That was like, here's a whole bunch of water. Just call it, name it after me, and then disappear. I don't know if I put out the fire with the water or, the no or not. If I actually did, that's incredible. Incredibly detailed programming, considering how rare that would probably ever happen. So, probably not. Can I head down there? Not from this angle. Are you gonna land or not? Take on the dogs, I guess. I don't know what these are. They're curs. And it looks like there's another dungeon over there. There are quite a few dungeons in here, but like I said, the only one that you want to look out for is the one that I told you about with the liquid rainbow and you all probably have to to farm that one it probably Save us. won't don't let us die. someone help us probably won't spawn for you the first time <laughs> this isn't a problem Are you guys having an issue here I mean considering how 
how easily I'm handling everything. I find it strange that so many people seem to get captured. <laughs> We're just so much stronger than everybody else. I must flee. I need to get out of here. So that's one. Two more to go. Yeah, they're down there, obviously. God. <laughs> still so overpowered. Oh, it's still two shotting everything, pretty much. Damn it. I knew you were down here somewhere. Got die. Get to him and kill him. <laughs> that way he won't spawn more. Okay. I must flee. And three. I need to get out of here. Oh, another purple guy. Unmerciful slave master. Sweet. And a jailer. Well, he is a slave master. That would make sense. Really? I wanted to revenge. I'll just do this. Until dead. Damn, more! More gems. Once you start getting gems, you start getting gems. You know, it's nice. <laughs> Take it. We'll move on again. Now, I'm confused. We didn't do the thing with the jeweler. Does it not happen once I have him? No, it happens. I know it does. Maybe it's later on. We'll, we'll, we'll get to the, the jeweler later as all these gems are starting to show up. I'm kind of like, hey, what about that jewel guy? We'll deal with him eventually, I think. I thought he was in the sewers. Maybe there's still more sewers to go. That is entirely possible. <laughs> Let's just destroy all the barrels. Try to get as much as I can. Dead Beast has money because why wouldn't he? You doing okay? Yeah, you'll be fine. Get over it. And I think we have a, an event up here? Could be another purple enemy. <laughs> that, that I think I think there's something special up here. No, it's just a regular conjurer. I thought it was special, but no. So then why are they up here? Don't really have anything. I just got a plant that tries to kill me, but that's not special at all. They're everywhere. Nothing over here. Just that. So let's just move on to the other side and hopefully I can find something else. And I thought the jeweler was before this part. And we have nightmarish guys. Hopefully I don't get scared and run off from them. Ah, but they got scared and run off from me. One more to go. I'm not scared at all. A powerful enemy we have laid low. Yes, we have. Give me that mending cord. Nothing. Yeah, we're not getting very much here. Okay, here's the area that we, well, we saw before. Flooded cave, level one. So we're in for quite a journey here. Through the flooded cave. Because, of course, there are two levels to it. Anything good? Yeah, quiver. We'll take the quiver. Ha! <laughs> God. And we have web spitter spiders. Not that. That's what you gonna do. And this is one of the reasons I love Rollwind is I can just hit all of them multiple, multiple times. And it does use both of your weapons. So having two weapons, I believe, means you attack twice as fast as Whirlwind, which is another reason to use them. Use two weapons. Plus, you know, especially with like the two-handed weapons, I I don't know why you would use two-handed weapons because it does cut the magic potential that you have in half. Nice. <laughs> you know what I mean? If I have two items with magic on them, uh, or two items with, let's say, three magic slots on each of them, that means I have six magic slots, as opposed to the two-handed ones, where I have just three magic slots. Uh, so, the way that I would see it is the best thing for you would always be either you know, a shield and a weapon, or two weapons. And I'm all about offense, so I'm going to take on this Waller. Waller's 
Yeah, once again, they don't have very, very good specials here for, for the abilities. And, oh, a special herbalist. Uh, I think the scoundrel could use that. I don't think there's, unless it's like plus strength or something. Remember, it's all about dexterity for, for him. Nice. That's actually pretty good. Probably better than what he's got. So I will be keeping that. Grab me this chest here. What, there's something here? I don't even see these things. They're too damn small. And once again, this is going to be a big-ass place, but I'm hoping for something good. Do men in your land really dress in that manner? Yes. Why wouldn't they? Oh, I was merely curious. You ask a lot of, uh, a lot of questions that kind of imply that you don't like the way that I look. I see how it is, Enchantress. Am I just more handsome than you've ever seen? Yeah! <laughs> give me, give me my health back, and it didn't work. And of, of course, I went the way that does lead down, so now we have to go all the way around looking for the other path. Looks like there's two. Uh, maybe these will lead in a circle? Probably not. They could, though. I'm hoping that they do. That was my original thought, that they would lead around in a circle, and then at the back end of it would be the way down, so that's why I was avoiding it. Looks like they do lead in a circle. Fair enough. But there are always enemies back here. Four damage? Are you kidding me? And we got more jailers? <laughs> What's with your fascination with jailers? Oh no, whatever shall I do? Eh, down they go. But, no, you know, nothing's really giving me that big of a, of a problem in this difficulty anyway. You never know when those rock ones are going to come out. Ah, oh, I like it so much better when I cut your... Your head can clean off, not when I just make... Are those bones? They look like bones. All this for a rock pile with nothing in it. Give me my health back slowly over time. There we go. That is one of the bad things about having the numbers pop up is when I have a slow regen, like the plus two, plus three. Uh... Just to, just to give you a, a glimpse of, of what we're looking at later on, I think I have a plus 300 little regen on, on my Nightmare character. I'm still working on Nightmare. We're, we're working on that. We're getting through it. Buttercrust and I, and then we'll move on. And To be honest, we're, we're having less difficulty in Nightmare than I'm having right now in, in Normal, but that's because we have been abusing the Auction House. And I actually saw a an article today, I don't know if it was written today, but saw an article that said that they were working on uh, ways to make the auction house less important, which I'm all for, you know. I, I'm using everything that, that is available to me, and right now that is the auction house uh, for the other character. Um, once again, I have found stuff that I'm not supposed to have yet, uh, but thanks to... Thanks to the reduced level requirement, um, like magic or buff, I guess you could say, I'm finding stuff that's level 60, which is level, well, it's equipped level 60. Uh, they have two different levels. Uh, one's the item level, and then one's the actual level that you need to be to equip it. I'm finding stuff that's, uh, I level, you know, up to like 65, I think is the highest that I've found. Uh, that I'm able to equip in, in mid-40s because of the reduced level requirement uh, magic. So we're, we're breezing through that. Um, I think I did need to use a potion on the boss, but that was it. Like everything else, we're just, we're just breezing through, like I said. Uh, they are working on trying to get the auction house to be less important so that there's more of... Um, an emphasis on farming on monsters instead of farming the auction house, which is definitely what's going on now. Uh, you you don't really need to go in to the game. You go into the auction house and just look for everything that you want there because somebody's selling it. You know what I mean? And that it does take away from the game. I, I think it does. I think that's the conclusion that I've come up with is that it is taken away from the game to have, especially if you're trying to go through it single player like I am now, which is why I'm swearing off the auction house. 
Uh, but if you're multiplayer, it makes a little bit more sense. It's still a little weird, though. You know, it's not something that you found. Hell, the guy that found, that that grabbed it probably grabbed it from something that some place that your character hasn't even been yet. So you know, it comes across as a little strange that you got that you would be selling stuff like that as opposed to let's say World of Warcraft where you know the game is pretty much built around there being multiple players going through it at the same time and I found the waypoint very nice I uh, don't want to stop here though I want to keep going all the way through this you want to tackle it in one one sitting if you can the Dalgoro Oasis I understand is pretty damn big but if you can get through it in one sitting I would suggest it because it is so big and the waypoint doesn't really always spawn at the end. It it, ca it can spawn towards the beginning of the level. So if, like I said, if you can do it all in one sitting, so that you don't have to do it really twice <laughs> in some cases. Sure, it may you might find it in the beginning and then leave and come back, and it'll spawn you at the end, and that'll save you some time. But then you're not really going through the game which is what I want to do so we're gonna go around the whole place this time uh, they are trying to work on something one of the things that they mentioned was account bound uh, legendaries making legendaries more powerful than they already are which I'm all for because there are definitely times when I find legendaries and I go this isn't even as good as what I have legendaries being the orange items uh, they say that it has definitely gotten to the point um, with yellows because of uh, Paragon levels and um, Nephilim Valor, which we'll go over later, that yellows are becoming, which I think they call rares, are becoming more and more seen. And they, they like the drop rate of the rares, they said, but at the same point, you don't really care. You're you find it and you don't think it's going to be good for you and they're starting to see people have that kind of same reaction with the the legendaries the orange items to the point where they say people aren't even picking them up uh, and you might have seen damn nice resplendent chest oh the <laughs> has been watching you since you arrived there are traces of his magic everywhere and you might have seen there that I picked up a ruby. Actually, this is my second ruby. What the hell have I been doing? I want to put one of them in my helmet because that gives me plus... It increases bonus experience by 5%. I don't know, I'm not sure if they mean that all experiences goes up by 5% or when I get the little bonus things here, uh, you know, for kill streaks and that kind of stuff. That's what upgrades. Uh, but... Either way, I want more experience as quick as possible uh, so I can get better items out of the blacksmith and all that kind of stuff. So that is what I always put in my helmet. Thanks to Buttercrust for showing that to me because otherwise I was doing magic find. 